me watch little weapons and watch your cake to glow All the edges in the ocean have a soft that's low It was like being in a different band. We'd never headlined shows anywhere near as big as we were doing on the Lost Forever Cycle. We um, were seeing growth all around the world rather than just at home. We'd gone from maybe playing like a handful of shows a year where you could go like, oh, that was, I really enjoyed that show. That was my favorite show. To touring Lost Forever, it felt like every single night the show topped the night before. And we'd never had that before. We'd never had a tour where every single show was sick. The tour that I did right before Lost Forever, Lost Together came out was kind of a strange time because the album had just been tracked and there was a lot of just uncertainty with the band as to what was going to happen next. We were still in the same situation where like we're feeling like everything hangs in the balance a bit and you know every record was like well here's like another roll of the dice. People always spoke we were always this young band with potential and uh, we never quite I felt that we had never hit it, and maybe on Lost Forever we did. Although obviously I feel like, oh well, maybe this is us hitting our potential, I don't know. Because certainly now, off the back of Lost Forever, we had this feeling of like, okay, cool, like, we liked that. Everyone else seemed to quite like it as well. The growth that we experienced as a band was like, took us way beyond a, a place that we ever thought we would be in. We're now in a much better spot than we were before, and we've come into this record with a lot more confidence, I think. Two years ago to do uh, Lost Forever, Lost Together, and um, we'd we'd always been like fans of Henrik and Frederick's production. It's not that we had a deep problem with the way our previous record had sounded, but I just remember being in this room when we listened back to the first mix of Naysayer, and I, honest to God, had tears in my eyes because I was so just like, ah, oh, it sounds exactly how I want it to sound. This is this is how I imagined it would sound. I think it was the first time I'd ever truly had that feeling that um, something we had done had, had sort of been as I had imagined it in my head. So it felt like kind of like, well, let's not roll the dice again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We felt like it was important to come back here and give it that sort of continuity and sound. A On this one, it's like, right, we, we knew what we were doing there. Now let's push it times 10. Like it has to be, truly special to beat what we managed to achieve with Lost Forever.